Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a revision question on vectors. So let's take a look at this question. Question number three, work out the angle between the vectors. So in part A, we have the column vector 2 minus 1 and another column vector 3 minus 2. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So here are the column vectors given as part of part A. Now, if we take a look at this screenshot, just to remind you, to work out the acute angle between two vectors, so if you're given two vectors a and b, the acute angle theta between the vectors a and b is given by the formula cos theta, and that is the absolute of a dot b divided by the modulus of a times the modulus of b. So let me show you how this result works. Back to the paper and pen. So first of all, let me name my vectors. So I'm going to call this vector A, the first one, and the second one, let's call that vector B. So first of all, we need the dot product or the scalar product of these two vectors. So let's work out A dot B. To work out the scalar or the dot product, all you do is multiply the corresponding components and then add. So if I multiply the components here, 2 times 3, that's what we'll have as a result, and we always add, and if we multiply these corresponding components, minus 1 times minus 2. So if we go to the extra stage to simplify, 2 times 3 being 6, minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2, so a dot b is 8 when simplified. So remember the idea, multiply the corresponding components and add to work out the scalar product. Now let's continue. So if we go back to the screenshot, we also need the modulus of a and the modulus of b. So back to the paper and pen. So let me show you how to work out the modulus of a. So to work out the modulus of A, or the size of A, we need the square root of the components squared, and then we just add them together. So we square the components, and then we add. So we have 2, so it's 2 squared, plus, so always plus, and minus 1 squared. So all we do is square the components, and then add. So let's continue. So the modulus of A will then be square root of 2 squared is 4, minus 1 squared is plus 1. Let me leave this as root 5. So root 5 meaning the modulus or the magnitude of A. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the concepts that I'm using, I will provide links to videos that I've created explaining the concepts with additional examples. So I'll provide the links to those videos in the description below. Let's continue. So the same way we're going to calculate the modulus of B. So modulus of B. So it's a square root again. And it's a square root of we square the components and add, so we do 3 squared plus minus 2 squared. So let's continue, 3 squared being 9, minus, four, minus 2 squared rather is 4, and let me leave it in third form, 9 plus 4 is 13. So that is the modulus or the magnitude of the vector b. Now, remember the result. Let's go back to that screenshot showing the result. The acute angle theta between the vectors a and b, that can be found using a formula. Cos theta is the absolute of a dot b over the modulus of a times the modulus of b. Back to the paper and pen. So the acute angle theta between A and B. So let's note the formula, cos theta, and it's that absolute, absolute meaning that if we have negatives, 
we ignore the negative and if we have positive keep it as it is so absolute of any negative number is positive absolute of a positive remains positive so it's the absolute of a dot b divided by the modulus of a times the modulus of b so let me continue along a dot b we had eight so eight divided by and the modulus of a modulus of a was root five so root five times the modulus of b root 13. in this case we need to calculate theta so if we do the inverse cos using our calculator of 8 over root 5 into root 13. So by calculating that, you should get an answer of 7.13 roughly degrees to 3SF, three significant figures. So that is what you should have for part A. Now we have another part to do. Part B is we need to do the same calculation, but for these two column vectors, two, one, and four, and the second column vector, one, minus two, and three. So let's repeat the process back to the paper and pen. So in this case, let me name the first column vector A. Let me name the second column vector B just to get started. So remember the calculation. Let's first calculate, and it doesn't matter the order that you do your calculation, but let me first calculate A dot B, the dot product. So A dot B. So remember the idea, multiply corresponding components and add. So I'll have two times one, plus one times minus two, plus four times three. So we're just multiplying the corresponding components and adding. So let's go one stage further, let's simplify. Two times one is two, one into minus two is minus two, four times three being 12. Two minus two will cancel, so a dot b should be 12. So that is the solution for A dot B. A dot B, the dot product or the scalar product is 12. So now let's work out the modulus or the magnitude of the vectors A and B as we've done before. So to the current example, let's work out the modulus of A. So modulus of A, it's a square root calculation. So it's a square root of square the components and add so looking at a, it's going to be 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 4 squared. So you square the components and then add and take the square root of the result. So in this case, modulus or the magnitude of a, that will be the square root of 2 squared being 4, 1 squared which is 1, 4 squared which is 16 so I'm going to leave it as the square root of 21 so that is the modulus or the magnitude of A let's do the same calculation for B so the modulus or the magnitude of B same calculation square root of let's square the components and add so 1 squared plus minus 2 squared plus 3 squared so take a square root square the components and then add so the modulus or the magnitude of b will then be let's simplify 1 squared is 1 minus 2 squared being 4 3 squared being 9 i'm going to leave this as root 14 so that should be the modulus or the magnitude of the vector b. So going to the screenshots, so to work out the acute angle theta, remember the formula cos theta is the absolute of a dot b over the modulus of a times the modulus of b. So let's apply the formula again. So back to the paper in pen. So the acute 
angle theta between A and B. So remember the formula cos theta and that is the absolute of A dot B divided by the modulus of A times the modulus of B. So if we replace the data, cos theta is the absolute of A dot B, we had 12. So let's put that and divided by, let's add the modulus of A, which is root 21. So root 21 into the modulus of B root 14. So lastly, if we take the inverse cos of 12 divided by the root 21 into root 14, so we can do this using our calculators, and using the calculator you should have to three significant figures 45.6 degrees. So it's 45.6 degrees for this one, two, three significant figures. So that completes this part, part B, and that sadly ends this video. So once again, if you're not familiar with the concept, I will provide links to the videos that I've created explaining the concept with additional examples in the description below. So be sure to check out those videos. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.